Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you all the concepts of master mode. Starting with Star Citizen Alpha 3.23, the way we fly is a little different, maybe a lot different. So now there are two main modes that you need to be in when flying, depending on what you need to do. If you want to be in combat, um, you need to be in SCM mode. And then if you want to be flying or jumping around, at your top speed you need to be in nav mode okay so once you're within each mode whether it's SEM or nav mode there are some operator modes within those um, that you can also um, alternate between so let's start off with SEM mode so right now with SEM mode as you can see on my right um, left hand here it says um, SEM guns so the very first operator mode that I'm in once you switch over to SEM is accessing your guns which allows you to fire okay then you can with your middle mouse button you can switch over to the next operator mode this time it's missile so now I have access to my missile okay and then the next one will be scan so if there's anything around you can scan it with this uh, scan mode as well so they've categorized all these into separate modes okay so another interesting thing that I, that I like to show you guys if if you hit left alt and right mouse button you can also access uh, precision mode so if you have a target and you want to take out certain components on the ship you can zoom in your weapon fire will be slower but you'll be a lot more precise in terms of what components you want to take out okay so um, very useful in combat if you want to do that so that's your left alt right mouse button so if you ever want to find out which key mines to look for in terms of the position mode you can find it under flight weapons and you should find it towards the bottom there okay so next is um, also while in SEM mode, you'll also have access to um, whether it's mining, if you have a mining vehicle or um, if you have a salvage vehicle, you can also go into that mode as well. As you can see, I'm not in a specialized ship like those. So I don't have access to those modes, but I just have access to the basic ones that every ship should have. Okay. So, um, so that's another way of doing that which is your middle mouse button to alternate between the sub um, categories of modes so now to switch over to um, nav mode so now this is when you want to fly very fast okay so to do that you hit the b key bind and you hold it so you hold b and it will switch you over to nav mode so when you do that, your shields will go down and your weapons will no longer be accessible to you. Okay. Once you enter into nav mode. So this means you cannot really defend yourself in terms of shielding or anything like that. But at this point, you can go really fast. You can actually go your top speed. And that's the difference between nav and SEM is that SEM, you can't really go as fast as you would um, when you're in nav mode. So nav mode allows you to access um, your fastest speed in any given ship. Okay, so as I explained earlier in nav mode as well, you can also alternate between different flight modes. So nav flight, what it does is it removes the HUD, the quantum drive HUD away from the screen. This way you can see more when you're flying around um, and if you don't need to actually jump at anywhere, but you're just cruising around and then you have um, Scan you also have access to your scanner as well here and Then you also have quantum so now quantum is where you want to jump to quantum points or you want to travel across uh, great distances you have access to quantum Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift off and just show you a few other fundamentals that is also going to be very important. Okay, so I'm going to switch over back to SCM mode real quick. And as you can see, as I switch back, my shields come up and I have access to my weapons. Okay, so I'm going to lift off a little bit. So now, as you can see, my landing gear is up. Okay, 
my landing gear is out. So when your landing gear is, is out, you go at a significantly slower speed as opposed to your regular SEM speed. So if I'm, so it doesn't matter how fast, how high I put this up, as long as my landing gear is up, I'm only going to go a limit of up to, I think, 30. So right now, this one is even 25, right? But I'm not going to go any faster, right? So if I want to go at my top SEM speed, I need to bring up my landing gear, um, which is going to be the end keybind. And now I have full access to my quantum, uh, my SEM speed here. Okay. All right. So that's the one concept that I wanted to show you. Um, another concept that you also need to learn is cruise control. Okay, cruise control is going to be left out C. But pay attention. Even though I've turned, so when you, if you look at this, right? This little square right here, if you switch on cruise control, it'll become a circle. See? But guess what? I'm not moving, right? Why am I not moving? The way this works is in order for, and even if, and if, if I scroll up, right? If I scroll up. See how I'm scrolling it up and I'm not moving. The reason for this is cruise control now works in such a way where um, it works the way your uh, real life uh, cars work, right? While you're in cruise control, while your your car is moving, that's when you can actually activate cruise control for your ship or vehicle to take over and start um, flying or driving in that in the direction you set it, right? So now I'm going to start moving ahead a little bit strafing forward uh, if you're using mouse and keyboard it's going to be just w right as i do that and if you go straight down it will start uh dropping down okay so now it's working all right you can see that i'm dropping it down all right with my mouse button i can set the limit of how fast i can go all right and it will not go any faster than that okay so i'm going to take off cruise control again all right let me just stop it so now if i so i can turn it on right now the ship is not going to move but the way to do it is while you're moving right now i switch on cruise control now it will maintain that speed and then as i scroll up it will try to match that speed um, and depending on the limits of the atmosphere um, the speed that you can go okay so this little red here is essentially the speed I can go safely if I want to go into the red I would have to boost right but it's up to a limit so now if you want to go at your top speed like I said you'll need to go into um, quantum okay so hold b and then now it will spool up like this shields will go down access to no weapons but once the spool up is done now i have access to my full speed so now when i scroll all the way up let me boost a little bit now i can go with my top speed okay so another thing that's important to know when you're in nav quantum is that since they've changed the switching between the um, master modes from SCM to nav being hold holding of the B key bind. They've now changed the initiation of quantum jump to the left mouse button. So once you spool up like this, you just have to click and um, actually click and hold and then it will jump you there. Okay, so that's your left mouse button. So now what's important also to pay attention that you can't obtain your full speed until the spool completes. So notice when after the jump is spooled, after 100% of the spool completed is when I had access to the full speed of the ship. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this once more time so that you can see what I mean here. Left mouse button hold now look look at my speed now see now it switched over to the full 
speed of the ship. So yeah, so that is basically the concepts of master modes. If you have any questions regarding anything I spoke about in this video, feel free to leave it in the comments down below or either myself or anybody in the community will be able to answer you or further edify in terms of these concepts. Also, Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 just went live and it's ever more important to be a part of an organization to learn the ropes and to also have people back your back. If you are interested, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.